Hi everyone, I'm back again and I'm gonna make a lavender, lavender, lemon orange vetiver mix and this is gonna be a four pound. Um, I'm using lemon chiffon from Micah Zamora and clementine from Micah Zamora and I'm gonna use um, titanium dioxide for the other one and I have, let's see, um, colored sea salts, coarse sea salts in the same colors, clementine, lemon chiffon. Oops, hold on a minute. Okay, for the tops. Okay, and I got, this is going to be an aloe and a, a, excuse me, and a coconut milk um, one. So I'll bring you back when I am done mixing. Okay, I'm back. I decided to do some blue, and this is a peacock blue from Micah Zamora. I did other soaps that had the uh, yellow and orange, so I just want to set this one apart a little bit. And I'm hoping this doesn't change it too, oh, geez, too, too much. Let's just splash it over the counter. I'm just going to hand stir this because it's already thickening up. I don't want it too thick. This is a nice consistency here. thickening up and up. That one is. This is my own little concoction. I did this years ago and I I haven't done it since. And I really, really like the scent. I don't know why I always wanted to do it again, but I just never got around to it. Okay, let's get the mold. Hopefully I get it all in. This is a new mold. I've used it a few times. Uh, Mr. Dandy made it. It's got the hinges on all four sides, so it drops down flat, which is nice for lining. So I'm just going to put this in there. I'm just going to save a little bit for the top. This blue is thick. Hopefully it doesn't look like it. I'm going to have to plop. I wonder why that's has to be the colorant and plus it's there wasn't a whole lot in there. Do a hanger swirl. Let me just pop that down a little bit. Trusty hanger. Let me just bang this down. I'll be right back. Okay, am I in there? Yeah. So I'm going to start the rest of this white on, the cream or whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to find a good angle, so bear with me. Until I could find one. I noticed the last video had a reflection. I'm sorry for that. Right in 
And it was right in the middle of the um, my slab mold too, so I um, apologize. I'll get it. He, this is the same. It's supposed to be a tall skinny. Um, he made it a little bit wider, and I really like the bars just a tad bit wider than they were so it worked out good I told him I want some more and to make them just like that let's do this blue it's really thick some more of this white in here. So I hope everybody's having good weather. We're starting to. We had rain yesterday and it was our prom so that wasn't fun. But it ended up we were able to get pictures and poor girls spent hours doing their hair and makeup and get rained on. Okay. Just wipe this off. And then I'm just going to texture this somewhat. I think I'm going to do it with a So let me see if it's ready. Am I in the picture? No. Just going to go around. Just something different. I might just leave it like that. I gotta get moving on the next batch. Okay, now the salts. So I am going to put them just right down the middle. I'm just gonna put a thin layer of the orange. And then go with the yellow. I'm not sure if I like this angle, so the cutting might be a little bit different. Um, still messing with it. Oh, that's nice. Really tropical. Summery. Just a tad. Just so they don't fall off. I know they're going to have some of them, but if I could save most of them, that would be excellent. OK, 
Okay. Bring it up and show you. And that is, I don't know the name yet, but where is it? Where am I at? There I am. Okay. Stay tuned for the cutting, which will be right after this. Okay, so I started unmolding this one. And I just want to show you how easy it was. All I did was take the paper off, put this down, put these down, and it's out. Oh, I really like that. I'll be right back as soon as I get the cutter set up. Okay, so I'm back. So this one, since it's got the salts on there, I'm going to have to cut this on the side. So let me just take a little bit off. This is the... Well, you know, because I have it on the bottom of that one, but it's the lemon orange and vetiver. That smells quite awesome. Oh, I like that. Nice. Okay, stand up straight. Oh, that's nice. It's like I says, I get a few of the marks on the side, but I don't really care. It's worth worth it to spend less time lining the mold for me than to have those lines on the sides. It's really not that important. My time is worth. money just like everybody else's that is really nice I really like that I'm glad I added that blue in there at the last minute it really added some contrast to that I, I did the uh, I did the hanger swirl in this one there I believe Clean out my groove there. Nice. So getting drag marks. Maybe I got. I gotta put this on the other side. Let me clean this out. I don't want to try it that way because then I can't get it flush. So we'll just have to deal with it. Oh, that's nice. Get a little bit of the marks on there from the salt, but I'm not going to really be able to prevent that because I don't want it going up against the side, you know, turn it the other way because I might not get an even cut. Causing too much problem here. I'm way over. It's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be worse. Yep. It's worse. So let me turn it back around. Okay. I got one stuck in there, I think. It's not going down all the way. That's pretty. Oh, 
at that one. <clears throat> so I got a few more soaps to cut and then I get a wholesale order. I gotta get packaged up. Then I'll upload these and see what I got. Then I got some housework I gotta do. So I don't think I'm gonna be making any today. I made four loaves yesterday. just orange in it. Okay, I'm going to get this cleaned up and move on to the next one. Bye!